All right, guys. I'm going to introduce you to the future of arm wrestling as we know it, okay? So, why, why have I done this, okay? The first, the first reason that, that I'm doing this is because I really believe that arm wrestling, the, one of the greatest things about arm wrestling is its accessibility, okay? Everybody around the world arm wrestles. They arm wrestle uh, on bar counters. They arm wrestle at tables at wedding, desks at school. And some of us get crazy and we, we arm wrestle on these, on these kind of things, right? But, but that's a small percentage of the world. You know, most of us, most of us just arm wrestle on tabletops. And it kind of sucks because we hurt our elbow, but, you know, we should put a t-shirt or something underneath. No big deal. But what are the rules? What are the rules? You know, every school you go to across North America and Russia and Africa, we're all using different rules. So the first thing I want to do is I want to establish a solid set of rules to be done on a flat tabletop. Okay? Because, as you see, that's what freedom arm wrestling is, okay? We've changed the table. We've made it way more simple. What you got here is you got a table with arm wrestling dimensions, okay? Same, same dimensions, same height. It's padded. So you don't need to wear, you know, an arm sleeve like you do in uh, Japanese arm sumo, which is what a lot of the ideas of this table are stolen from. And this you know, this freedom arm wrestling, okay? We've, we've taken a lot of those concepts. The table doesn't have pin pads. It doesn't have pegs to hold on to. And the whole thing is, the whole thing is, is, is your playing field, okay? So what does that mean? What does that mean for the sport? I'll tell you right away, having played with it just a little bit, this sport just got way bigger. Okay, way bigger. Your offensive and defensive options have gotten way, way larger. If you think that you've mastered the sport of arm wrestling, maybe you have. But let me tell you, with the little bit that I've worked on this table, this sport is bigger. Okay, it's bigger. There's more options. It's a longer way to the pin line. Okay. There's a, it's a longer path, it's a longer finish. That means more wars, okay? This is going to favor smart and savvy guys who can stop matches, okay? My opinion, we'll see how the league goes. So, what does it all look like? What can you do with your offhand? You can do whatever you want. If you touch your opponent with your offhand, it's a foul. If it's done in an unsportsmanlike or a uh, way to get an advantage in a match, it's, uh, it's disqualification from potentially the event, venue, league, if it's bad enough, okay? So no touching with the offhand, okay? With your offhand, you also can't touch your competing arm, okay? You can't be doing this stuff. How do you pin? How do you pin? You have to, you have to either touch right to the table top okay right to the right to the pad okay that's one way to win the other way to win is to pull your opponent off of your sides of the table okay my side if I'm armed is right right handed I got this whole back okay I can drag you right to the back or off this side bang okay and it can be high it can be high. If I just get you off the perimeter, off that perimeter, one, two, three, and it's a win. Just like in WWF wrestling, okay? All right? Two count doesn't mean anything. One count doesn't mean anything. One, two, three, you got yourself a victory. Um, how do you start a match? How do you start a match? Okay, if you don't have a fancy table like this and you're just arm wrestling, you know, with your buddies, both guys indicate they're good, 
and you can start the match. But fancy table, fancy table, okay. I'm locking up with my friend here. Doesn't matter where, doesn't matter what it looks like. Referee doesn't say anything. Referee does not have a role in the setup. This grip is between this guy and this guy. When I'm happy, I push my button. That's it. It's a momentary switch. We're loading up. We're messing around. I, I start to feel happy. I let it go. No big deal. I feel good. I don't feel good. The opponent has got a button. There's lights up. Okay. Okay. Both buttons are good. For an extended period of time, the ref is watching. Lights are on. Not much is moving. Go. That's all the referee says. Just starts the match with a go. And there you go. So either pin or off the side for a three count. If guys can't get a grip in a minute, we'll fall back to rules that we're all fairly familiar with. Set grip. Standard rules in the set grip. Okay. Center of the table, wrist straight, webbing's even, close the thumbs, close the hands, go. Standard fouls in that setup, loading off center, bending the wrist, all get a foul after the command, close the hands. All slips go to straps. And we'll be running with the double buckle strap system. You'll put your own straps on, unless Unless uh, you guys are not being cooperative. If you're not being cooperative within 30 seconds of getting, getting the strap on yourselves, then we'll just we'll put it on for you. But it's easy to put on yourself. And what we're trying to build here as well is we're trying to build the ability to talk to each other and uh, sportsmanship and the minimizing of the requirement for a referee. Running fouls, same system we're all used to. Three fouls make a loss. Don't stop arm wrestling until you hear winner or stop. There is no shoulder cross center rule, okay? This whole thing, you can do whatever you want. You can cross center with your shoulder to block. Dipping below the table. Dipping below the table is now basically impossible in many situations, okay? There's times when you maybe can do it, but most of the time you cannot. As soon as I start to dip below the table, my elbow comes up. The pad is no longer elevated. As soon as your elbow comes up, it's a foul, okay? So if I'm here, bang, foul. So you can't dip below the table on this setup and not incur a foul by your elbow lifting. Should be awesome. Should be awesome. I think that that about covers it. So get used to saying this. I'm going to be, uh, we're going to be doing a series up here for the next few months. Half year, it might be, uh, you know, testing this. So consider this a draft one. But I'm confident that everything that I've said here is, is likely going to work and going to stick. So 20th of August, that's in like a week and a half, is our first event here in Richmond. And we've got some, uh, lots of good stuff coming up. So hope you guys can make it out.